Zack. We're York. Zack. Can you hear me, Zack? There you are, Zack. Hello. <laughs> Sleeping again? Well, rise and shine. It's time for us to head back out into the chaos. All right. Isn't that right, Zack? Sure. Now I'm, I'm confused about our uh, dead to e premonition. A blessing in disguise. Cool titles. Not hard to read at all. Summer 2005. Oh, it's gone much jollier. Lacare, Louisiana. Oh, hi, birdie. You've got a fishing hook. Look at that lobster. Oh, it's us. Zach, it looks like she wants us to join her for breakfast. Perhaps this town's finally starting to warm up to us. Why are we having lobster for breakfast? Thanks, bird. Okay, so... So we're York. We're York right now. Look at that, Zach. She's welcoming us with open arms. Why have we got an entire She's pineapple? She's even willing <laughs> to share that tasty morsel with us. What an honor. What is happening? Hey, why, are we having... chow down, mister. <laughs> why are we having breakfast with Unless a pineapple? Unless you like your breakfast stale. Oh, that's a tall chef hat. <laughs> what an amazing place. I've been on top of the moon since the moment I got here. Me too. And the name of this wonderful town, Lacare. Sounds like French to me, but what does it mean? Why are we I'm having tea chef. and not, not coffee? If you want to know about the town, you'd better ask the concierge. All right, thanks, David. Only amateur chefs flap their gums about stuff that ain't food related. Didn't know that. I'll bear that in mind now. Next time I speak to a chef. <laughs> I love the title intros. I'm having a great time. Did you hear that, Zach? He's a true professional. Hell yes. You say something, Mister? Nope. Uh, no, not to you. Why has he got like such a talking to Zach? He's got such a low cut Zach? chef jacket. Please don't ask me about Zack, it's a private matter. Then don't talk about him out loud, you fucking so, nutter. Still, never thought the FBI would ever come out to a little old town like ours. I do work for the FBI, but I didn't come here for an investigation. So he's told everyone he's FBI. To stop by on my way to New Orleans. He's told everyone about Zack. <sighs> never thought there'd be a murder out here either. And it was a 16-year-old kid. Uh -oh. Now I tell you. This country seeing better days. What you reckon, mister? Zack, he's definitely a professional, but it seems like he's also a bit lonesome. That's good. Ambivalence exists everywhere. Um... Folks say the killer used an axe. Hell of an old-fashioned choice if what you happened ask me. In, what happened to flapping your gums about stuff that isn't food? Now he's talking about murder case. Actually, Chef David, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a few questions about the incident. But shoot, I ain't the one you ought to be asking, Mr. FBI. I only heard what I heard. But seeing as you're fixing to grill me, I can tell you what I know. Yeah, tell me while I enjoy my... Please do. I appreciate it. ...enormous lobster and whole pineapple. Um, what do you know about the victim? You said the victim was a 16-year-old. Did you know her? Well, sure. I reckon the whole town did. Oh. Meaning? She's Lise Clarkson, the little grandbaby of the Clarkson family. 
the Clarkson family? That's right. Clarkson's you ain't family? seen they sign on your way in here? Nope. The one above that huge cold storage complex. Oh, the cold storage. Should have had a dragonfly on it. Anyway, that's the Clarkson family seat. They own most of the land around here. From the sugar plantations right down to the food processing plant. Got it. Yeah, I reckon they got a stake in just about everything. Just like the guy owned everything in the first They even own the water premonition. tower on the edge of town, you know. They're the ones who built up this town, and they still support it. What a coincidence. There's their house. What do you know about the Clarkson's house? Now, I ain't got nothing bad to say, but I'm gonna talk straight to you. You best steer clear of that place. That sounds like you do have something bad that to say. That family ain't just some gang. They're a whole different kind of beast. Ooh. They folks with real power. Remnants of the good old boys who shaped America in the early days. Why is there a, a pair of axes on the wall of this dining room? Especially the head of the family, P.J. Clarkson. PJ. He's the kind of monster who goes around eating other monsters. And I'm sure he's on edge now with his granddaughter getting murdered and all. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so don't go barging in with that shiny FBI badge of yours and think you'll be safe or nothing. No shit. Things are different down here. So if you plan on sticking around, you best remember that. Right. I see. I'll keep that in mind. Cheers for the warning, David. What's the local law enforcement doing? Is the local law enforcement investigating the case? I mean, there must be. <laughs> oh. Shoot, mister, what you think? Now, mm -hmm. I told you this ain't no city. We in the bonafide boondogs here. They got the know-how to break up fights and keep folks from killing each other when they piss you off. That's good. They sit down and talk it out with you heart to heart. And when that don't work, they just beat your ass. That's the deep south for you. Okay. This murder ain't like that, though. A little kid got killed. A weird way. Like something on a TV show. Or a video game. The sheriff's department ain't never seen nothing like this. What do you know about New Orleans? Live and let die. Angel heart. Live and let and die. The right? Nine out of ten people will name those titles when you ask them to think of a film set in New Orleans. They're all excellent movies, but to me they lack realism. Tell me about the real New Orleans. Work, I have a tendency to think deeply about what feels real and what doesn't. What's your point? And movies aren't real. What an amazing detective he is. That's Cat my point. Cat People. 1982, hmm? oh. directed by Paul Schrader. I have not seen Cat People. If it's a real movie, I'm not seeing it. The crowning achievement of Nastasia Kinski, the ultimate muse of the 80s. The most vital element of that movie is the reality it depicts. Leopards who turn into humans have intercourse with humans and turn back into leopards. Is this a... If this is a real movie, I need to see it. Then they can only turn back into humans again if they mutilate their lovers. I was awestruck by the sheer reality of it all. What? Understand? I'm talking about hyper-realism. After why watching is this so messy? It, I felt like I just had to experience the world of cat people for myself. That's why I decided to visit New Orleans. Uh, okay. <laughs> Another vital element of cat people? Poor David. Is the presence of Malcolm McDowell. Malcolm McDowell from Blue Thunder. Oh, talk about a masterpiece. Listen carefully, David. Only an amateur would call A Clockwork Orange his best movie. His best movies are Cat People and Blue Thunder. Period. You need to remember this, because it's the truth. Okay. Mm, whatever you say, mister. So, uh, what's your point again? <laughs> Never mind, don't worry about it. I already covered all the important parts. <sighs> so the matter. like something from a TV show, what exactly do you mean? Hey, mister. Why do you look so excited, huh? Because murder is exciting. Like a kid asking grandma to read him a fairy tale. I just can't seem to keep myself away from young women who died in bizarre ways. That is a slightly strange thing to reveal to somebody you don't know. Oh. <laughs> well, I ain't seen it with my own eyes. But folks say they found the body hanging under a bridge on the bayou. Mm. And under that bridge, there was some kind of altar. An altar? Like something they use in black magic. Ooh. Something horrible. Cool. Voodoo? Nah, wasn't nothing like that. Just a weird altar. That's all? Oh, and the body was all cut up in pieces. Right. Scattered around the altar like. 
thought you said it was hanging. So she was sacrificed. That's what the fella who discovered her said, yeah. Bingo, Zack. This case has got our names all over it. How can I get around town? By the way, Mr. FBI, I ain't seen a car in the parking lot. How'd you get all the way out here, huh? Good question. Don't tell me you walked. <laughs> well, that's a very good question. Chef David, you've got a sharp eye. It's true that I didn't park my car in your parking lot. I like York's hair in this you one. Know why? Can't say I do. Because it was stolen. Huh? Oh. But you went to FBI, right? Even FBI cars can be stolen. It could happen after you park your car on the side of the road and go off to do some legwork. Surely they have tracking when you're though. At lunch, when you're watching a movie, when you're asleep at night, when you're buying cigarettes at the local supermarket. Your car can be stolen anywhere. That's precisely what it means to be an FBI agent. Is In it? my case, my car was stolen while I was on my way down here. But no need to worry. I okay. already reported it to the local authorities. Okay, we just don't and care. And I've also already acquired another mode of transportation. Of course, we're on holiday, so it'd be personal car, not... Another mode? No. Police car. Want to hear the details? Yes, not please. really. Oh. But I'll listen if you want me to. Then please do. <laughs> oh, David. He's so resigned to being After involved I in this conversation. After I my work in Houston... I flew to New Orleans. Then, I rented a car at the airport. Ah. Whenever I visit the West Coast, I always rent a convertible, especially in California. But now I'm in hot and sticky Louisiana. So we need aircon. So, I decided on a brand new hybrid car with a fully equipped air conditioning system. Ooh, a hybrid car? Mm. Oh yes, they're marvelous. Vehicles that utterly defy everything you think you know about cars. Now, in the year 2005, it feels like we finally entered the 21st century. Stomp <laughs> down on the gas all you want. The engine won't make a sound. Oh man, he's gonna go nuts when he sees about Teslas. It's silent? At first, I felt like the landscape was moving past me on its own. Give it a few more years, and I'm sure we'll start seeing cars <laughs> that run purely on electricity. And who knows? In a decade or so, electric sports cars may end up lining the parking lots of Silicon Valley. I can see it now. It's the world of The Last Starfighter, 1984, directed by Nick Castle. It's famous for being the first film to utilize realistic CG, but I couldn't care less about that. Oh. See, I was mesmerized by the beautifully refined mech designs. It even made me wish that I could be one of them myself, especially the Gunstar spacecraft. No other sci-fi movie has ever... So, uh, yeah, why did your <laughs> hybrid car get stolen? He doesn't Sorry, care. Sorry, I got off topic. I noticed Poor it was David. missing after I finished my lunch and walked out of the diner. Incidentally, this diner was located at the entrance to a small town just south off the I-10. I went out to get back in it, but I remembered exactly where I parked it. Right between a blue pickup truck and a hedgerow. But when I came back from lunch, it had completely vanished. Got it. In short, someone stole it. And in its place, they left me this. What? A skateboard. A skateboard. <laughs> what the fuck? A skateboard. <laughs> yeah, that's my yes. reaction. While I was sliding my lunch into my stomach, someone was busy replacing my brand new hybrid car with a wooden board attached to four wheels. Remarkable, don't you think? So then, how did you get here? By riding the skateboard, obviously. Why do you look so surprised? No, I couldn't ride the board very well at first. But by the time I hit the three mile mark, I'd more or less got <laughs> the hang of it. Why wouldn't he give the skateboard to the authorities? See if it's got, you know, by fingerprints the or whatever. Mark, I'd even learned to do a few tricks. If we end up skateboarding in this game, I will lose my shit. It's a journey of self discovery. <laughs> Not even I knew I had this latent talent sleeping inside. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this summer's gonna be another hot one. It's supposed to get over subject. 9 to 5 today. Watch out, you don't go getting heat stroke. Yeah. The least Clarkson case needs us. Don't you think so, Zach? The cat yes. people are what guided us to New Orleans. We should be thanking Malcolm McDowell. Once we get home, let's watch Blue Thunder again. I'm already looking forward to it. Aren't you, Zach? <laughs> Zach. The searing light. What and is happening? Sense. It's the Deep South. Mm. We're not That's eating a any breakfast. breakfast. We didn't eat You're it. the world's greatest chef. Why are we having tea instead of coffee? That's my main question. Uh, wait, mister. 
You didn't take a single bite. Thank you for pointing that out. to die for. But I prefer coffee next time. Ugh. What would a morning be without coffee? Why didn't he have coffee this time? What a waste of delicious food. Return to York's room and review the case. Casa Pineapple. Is that where I am? Ah, oh, finally. Hello. Hello? Nope. Not interested. What's this? Okay. Oh, this feels nice. Look at this buffet. It's amazing. Sir? Wow, it's really a living, breathing world. <laughs> okay, we're not concerned about all the guns on the walls. It is the it's the deep south, so I guess not. Lovely place. What's oh, huge? This hotel is enormous. 203. This is some fabulous music right now. Okay, so that's the thing we're just going. Oh! Okay, that's how we crouch. We can recenter the camera. Can we run any faster? We can still use. Um, we can still use vending machines. Stores concentration, alleviates drowsiness. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's how we punch. That's a not a brilliant button for it, but it's fine. Uh, I guess let's go to our room. Oh, this is a mirror. That's why it looks so huge. That's That trick always gets me in real life too. Very clever. Do not enter cleaning in progress. Oh, right, that's our room over there. <laughs> Interesting art on the walls. All right, all right, I'm coming. Oh, I was enjoying that music. Oh yeah, we're looking sharp now. Look, I love his haircut. So we're looking brilliant. I'm chasing it all over America, but I feel like we're finally on the verge of finding something now. Don't you, Zach? I think it's about time we ordered a new briefcase. Ooh. Yes, oh, I know yeah, this that's... one carries a lot of memories, but it's seen too much. It's looking a little this bit raggedy. From the shootout in Tucson. And this stains from Miami. Ah, Miami. Now that was a fascinating case. Billy, our perp, cut his own torso right in two, even what? with the help of the drugs. A feat like that still requires incredible mental fortitude. Why? I'm so impressed that I forgot I'd left my briefcase on the floor. <laughs> Same floor his blood gushed out onto. Uh, and we didn't replace it after that. I know, Zach, I know. Now isn't the time for a trip down memory lane. Yeah, we've got shit to do. Let's hop on our skateboard and get out of here. Ooh, evidence organization. An emergent drug that's been on the rise in four southern states. Okay. Personally, I think it originated right here in Louisiana. And these Clarkson's murder must be connected to it somehow. Why does it have to be connected? He doesn't know anything about that yet. The 16-year-old girl who was murdered, her body was found beneath a bridge over the bayou, along with a strange altar. The powerful man who essentially controls the town of Lucare, and he seems to be more fearsome than your average gangster. Do you think he specifies when he books hotel rooms that he needs a court board? I doubt he'll be willing to cooperate with any law enforcement, Zach. That is nicely organized, I, I must say. We've, we've achieved something. <laughs> you know, I keep thinking about that movie we stopped to see on our way here, Zach. Oh, the no, Island. What now? 2005, the Island. directed by Michael Bay. For a movie being shown at a cinema complex, it was surprisingly artistic. An experimental setting mixed with hard-hitting drama. It was art house sci-fi. That's a weird way to talk that about Michael Bay. going to change enough. the history of art house films. <laughs> Are you following me here? This no. is another special film that's setting a new standard, just like Star Wars and Blade Runner did. 
This is a turning point, Zach. I don't know you if I agree with you. You may be witnessing the birth of a vital new word that will soon become a part of film history. Yes, this single movie may be responsible for creating a whole new genre several years down the line, a genre known as island movies. I sure like the sound of that. Don't you, Zach? Come in. If it's the chef. I must be starving. Cool. Okay, now we can look at our link board whenever we want. Oh, we've got the chef on here now. Okay, neat. I like it. Ah, oh, we can still save on the phones. We don't get any sort of agent points for saving, though. That's a shame. What is this? And why is it in our room? That would freak me out if that was in my hotel room. I'm very satisfied with the decorations and the size of this closet, Zach. And it's Good. even got a security box. What else could a man ask for? It's proof that we're still safely inside the fringes of modern civilization. What were you expecting? Some, oh yes, um, this is so. This is still a feature. Ooh, stylish brown. Oh, I like that. That's much more me. Okay. Yep. Cool. We got. We got bullets. We got first aid kits. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, what's this way? Bathroom? This room is enormous. Oh yes, we can shave. Good. Due to the nature of our work, we've had to stay at hotels That's all over America. That's a huge shower. And it's got a bath. This is so nice. I want but to stay Zach, here. Do you know what I hate most about living out of a hotel? Shower pressure. The shower oh. was invented so that human beings could quickly bathe in large quantities of water, correct? Yet there are far too many hotels in our nation that have showers with embarrassingly weak water pressure. It's an outrage. And I'll keep tooting my horn about this every chance I get, believe you me. I don't doubt that for a second. To be fair, the hotel probably can't help it. We are having a shower. Okay, we've had a shower, we've had a shave. We can't have a shit. It's a shame. Um, can't have a snack. Guess that's everything. Hey there, chef. What's cooking? The chef. What the... are you talking about, sir? What? I'm the concierge, David. Mm. I just heard from our chef that you wish to learn the meaning behind our town's name. Yes, I've gathered that Lucare is French, but does it have any special meaning? So this is the same guy? Why, yes, sir. Of course it does. First of all, why? Very What's going on? Logical meaning. Second, why is he wearing all a bow tie, not on a shirt? He's would just got a like bow tie around his neck. That's so weird. Yes, I would. Jolly He's wearing a t-shirt and a bow tie. allow me to explain. Lucare means square in French. Ah. Okay. And? That's it. <laughs> that's it? <laughs> yes, that's it, sir. Do take a gander at the town map in the lobby if it fancies you. It's beautiful, valuable, and old. Okay. I'm sure you'll understand once you see it. Now, please excuse me, sir. If you ever need anything, please don't hesitate to ask. Second breakfast? What? <laughs> Did you see that, Zach? That was clearly David. Not a twin, not a split personality. Just the work of a true professional. It's bizarre, but I can understand it. Remember what they say. The job makes the man. Do we think he owns the hotel? That was really peculiar. 